Is it on? Oh, it is. Okay. Good PM, you're watching MS Capo. In the spirit of Halloween, we're dying to find out if we can see any ghosts in the places where experts have cited some of the scariest entities. Tonight, I'm capoing the team from Para X. They've decided to bring me on a paranormal hunt to explore an old abandoned farm that was part of a murder case that took place in July 2016. A female corpse was burnt for days and nothing was left behind except her hair, the bra hoop was left. What exactly made them believe in the paranormal realm? And will they be able to convince a skeptic like me to believe in ghosts? We're super capo, so let's find out. Meet Shark. As the leader of Parax, he is known for going on paranormal hunts alone during his weekly TikTok live streams. I have a lot of questions to ask, but first, I'm dying to know, how did you get started with ghost hunting? Last time, I, I, I don't believe in ghosts, lah, so uh, I decided to come up my own team to investigate further. Do you actually make money out of this? I give and support that the viewers give uh, do help us make a little bit of money and then we use that money to invest on to better equipment. How many people are in your whole team? Total of nine, five safety team and three guardian and the last one is me lah, so that consists of nine of us. And can you tell us like what each member does? Five of the safety team members usually go in and recce first to ensure that there's no danger inside before we proceed with our paranormal hunt. For the guardians, they are only activated where someone is possessed. So as you know, I'm here to Kepo. So do you mind if I join you on your expedition tonight? Are you ready? I think so. <laughs> okay. There's a few things that uh, I need to uh, let you know first. Lah. For example, like keeping your energy at the highest level. This entity, they distract you through our energy level. If our energy level is too low, they, they will get the best of us. Lah. Like confusing us, making us lost our way. Okay, so here is some of the equipment that... Uh, we bring in during our paranormal hunt. So this is the EMF meter. Lah. One bar means there's no energy here. When it lights up to the highest, it means there's bad energy over here. Lah. Good vibes only. Let's, let's do go, it. Let's go. Be careful. Eh? A murder was took place uh, where the guy literally burned the lady bodies for days to depose, dispose the evidence. Did, have you ever found anything? I heard some lady humming around. Yeah, like just if you see stuff do you run away or do you like i don't run. know if it's too scary i will run um, have you ever heard like when you run away from an alligator you're supposed to run like zigzag is there a way to run away from uh, no. ghosts no. just as fast as possible in a straight line out of there yeah okay honestly i wasn't really that scared before we came in but now like i'm feeling a little bit creeped out what's the scariest experience that you've ever had here it's all that here Wait, wait, wait. Screenshot. Screenshot, screenshot, screenshot. What's that blinking light over there? Oh, it went away. It could be an animal. It's kind of freaky. What I saw in that moment was a pair of eyes in the banana tree. Um, they kind of look like two orange orbs. And as we walked closer to the tree, you could kind of see like the shape of the head and the head would turn back and forth. Entity like that, they have red eyes like that. That might be an entity. Yeah, that might be an entity. Some say it's called penanggal. Penanggal is a form of just face without the body. It could have been a ghost or it could have been a civet cat. What do you guys think? This particular spot here, we caught the head moving around here. Wait, they're moving eh? It's moving eh, guys? Who say got no ghost? Hey, do your parents know you do this? Nope. Like what would they say if they knew you were doing this? My grandma would kill me. <laughs> this is what the area where we heard the cow sound. Yeah. Do you think a cow ghost will have ghost milk? And if you drink the ghost milk, will you have good ghost bones? Okay, going into the creepy room now. This is the chimney room. There was one that was inside this room. I was there walking around. Suddenly the whole tower starts to drop. Oh. It was all caught in live stream. Oh, that's the tower that started yeah. dropping? Okay guys, let's check the meter here. If there's bad vibes, it might be because it's been sitting in my butt pocket. Okay, can okay, move, move around. The area that we were just in is probably the spookiest. Maybe because it's enclosed. There's lots of like blind corners, like you're just walking around and you, know, you don't know what's like around the next corner. The entity today might be a bit shy. I'm fine with that. It's time for the Ujinali. We will put one of us uh, in the middle of the dark and then we will try to uh, involve table games to uh, communicate with the entity over there. 
Ismail has volunteered to test his courage as he has a very open chakra and apparently that makes him easily possessed. I will take a paper slowly. Until the paper finish, I will continue the comb. I will like, like click, click sound to call the entity to come to try to enter my body. <coughs> It took about 15 minutes of paper tearing until Ismail did a backflip. Or should I say, the entity which possessed Ismail made him do a backflip. Scoring my full name when I turn is my uh, Malay people say is Pojong. It's oh, just in front of you. No, you also the what? Yeah. Ah, yes, you know what I mean. But this one is staying in me. Just really just staying in me. So I just ignore it. Then I start a noise from my back, full step, like some like want to enter to me. Then I will start my leg to start to shaking really. So I know okay the entity is coming really. Then I start to feel like my full body is shaking really. Yeah, you were coughing, what's the coughing? <coughs> okay, the coughing is signal that the entity want to enter my, my body. Then the last part I cannot control anymore. I look down then I lost myself. I can't remember anything. How do you feel now? Tired. Then my chest. A bit, bit. So which entity was it? Was it the one from behind or the one from the pochong from behind? I'm glad I didn't do it. Why are you burning the paper? Because this paper is the only the entity. Oh, okay. So before I step up from this space, I need to burn first. I see. So the entity will not follow me to my Your home. Or yes, yeah. correct. Oh. Hey, man. Okay, so that was certainly uh, an interesting experience. Um, I don't know, I mean, I definitely saw eyes and like a head moving, but it, it could be an animal. I don't know, I think you can still call me slightly skeptical. But whether you believe in ghosts or not, you should check out ParaX's TikTok Lives and make your mind up for yourself. So that's a wrap for this episode's MS Capo. Share your stories of us through the email that will appear on screen in two seconds. Sending an email is free, so write in and we might just report on it. I'm Drew and thanks for being a Kpokia with me.